Hi friends, welcome to Krishna's Tech Info. In this video, we can see how to install Apache Tomcat on Ubuntu. Apache Tomcat is a web server and a servlet container which is used to serve Java applications. The Tomcat is an open source implementation of Java servlet and Java server pages technologies which is released by Apache Software Foundation. Now we can see how to install Tomcat on Ubuntu. For installing the Tomcat application, you need to have Java installed on your system. Now we can see how to install the OpenJDK. Before installing any package, you can run the apt-get update command to update the packages. Now we need to run the apt-get install default JDK to install the OpenJDK. Now give us to download and install the packages. This will take some time. Now the Java installation is completed. Next we can create a user and group for Tomcat which will run this Tomcat service. Before that we can create a directory for installing Tomcat. Command is mkdr slash shop slash Tomcat. Now the new directory is created. Next we can create a group called Tomcat and also a user for it. Group at Tomcat. Next we can add the user with the user add command with the home directory slash of slash tomcat which we have created. Now give enter. Now the user and group is created for tomcat. Next we can see how to install tomcat. First we can download the package. You can see the download link for tomcat 9. I am going to download the package. Now the package download is completed. Next we can extract the package using the tar command. You can use the iPhone C option to extract to the particular directory which is slash of slash tomcat. Now give enter. Now the files are extracted. Next we need to update the permissions for the slash of slash tomcat directory. Now change the group ownership for the tomcat directory. Next you need to give the tomcat group a read access to the configuration directory and all of its contents and also you need to provide the execute access to the directory so we can run this command. Now we can set the permissions for the conf directory. Now give enter. Next change directory to apache tomcat. Now we can set permissions for the web apps directory, work directory, temp directory and logs directory change on iphone r tomcat web apps work logs temp now give enter now we have set the proper permissions for the tomcat setup next we can create a systemd service file to run the tomcat as a service you need to set up a systemd service file so now we can see how to do it before that we need to check where the java is installed to do that now we can run the update java alternative command to check the java installation path. Now we can see the installation path that's user lib jvm java systemd service file. You can create this file. You can add this lines to your configuration. In this java home option you can change your java path. If it is different you can change it or it is same you can keep the same. Now save the file and exit. Now we can restart the systemd daemon, systemctl daemon reload. Now we can start the tomcat service, systemctl, systemctl, start tomcat. Now the tomcat service is started. Now we can enable the tomcat service. Command is systemctl, enable tomcat. This will start the service at boot. Next we can configure the Tomcat web, web management interface. For that you need to edit this XML file. Open this file. And here you can see the Tomcat users. Now you can add your user configuration line. And save the file and exit. Now restart the Tomcat service. System CTL. Restart Tomcat. Our service is restarted. Now open the web browser. Now we can access the Tomcat web interface. The Tomcat service will be listening on port 8080. 
now enter your IP address with the port 8080 you can see the Apache Tomcat home page now for accessing the manager app and host manager we need to edit the two files you can see the web apps manager meta in context.xml you can edit this you need to comment this line this will restrict access so to provide the access you can comment out these lines you can add this explanatory brackets to comment out you also need to edit this host manager context.xml file and do the same thing by commenting out this line after modifying the configuration file you need to restart the tomcat service after that we can just refresh the tomcat page now you can see the manager app you can provide your username password that you have set for the tomcat user admin and the password click ok now you can see the tomcat web application manager next we can see the host manager you can use the same credentials now you can see the tomcat virtual host manager and this is the server status the web application manager is used to manage your java application you can start stop reload deploy and undeploy the java applications you can also do some diagnostics on your java applications in this video we saw how to install apache tomcat on ubuntu thanks for watching this video post your comments and suggestions please share and subscribe to my channel press the bell button to get instant notifications on my videos you can follow me on this instagram id and facebook page for any queries you can reach me on this skype id